Good morning, Owensboro. How are you? It's wonderful to be back. It's uh, fantastic to be in this community. I get to this community fairly often. Uh, my in-laws live here, Sim and Sally Davenport. Uh, so it's fantastic to be back. And, and as you come through western Kentucky, it seems like every county claims that they have the, the best barbecue in the entire state. Well, it's wonderful to be here at this festival where you settle it once and for all uh, each and every year. I also want to say, give a special shout out to uh, Betsy Dexter and Sarah McGowan, who are from Owensboro, who work on my staff. And as many of you know, thank you, as many of you know, my uh, my father's from just down the road in Morganfield. And, uh, you know, my father grew up on a family farm. And he moved to Jefferson County, and he put himself through law school at night by teaching history and coaching football at, at public high school during the day. Uh, my mother is the daughter of a union blacksmith who didn't miss a day of work in 47 years. And on her side of the family, I'm the first to go to college. And that's something that she's very, very proud of. And as I think about my story, and as I think about this race for the U.S. Senate, one thing I can tell you, this race isn't about me. It's not about Daniel Majardo. It's not about Maurice. It's not about James. It's not about Darlene. It's about you, the people of Kentucky, because you're hurting right now. You're hurting. We face 11% unemployment. Families are being ripped apart because parents are losing their jobs and they can't afford to educate their children. We've lost 100,000 manufacturing jobs in the last decade. And as I think about this campaign, I think about the mom and pop hardware store owner that I met along the way. He showed me his inventory. He's owned his hardware for 15 years, his hardware store for 15 years. And he showed me his inventory from 15 years ago, and then he showed me his most recent inventory. 15 years ago, 90% 90, 90 of what he put on his shelves was made in America. Most recently, 95% of what he put on his shelves was made overseas. Think about that. Think about that dramatic transformation in our economy in just a decade and a half. I think about the veteran I met not too long ago who can't get access to a veteran's nursing home where his, father, where his family wants to place him. He asked me why. I wish I had a better answer. Those are the people I'm thinking about at this time. Those are the people who need the help of a new generation of leadership in the United States Senate. And as I run for this office, I'm always mindful that we're in this to recapture Wendell Ford's Senate seat. And to, re yes, thank you. And to return it to the people for whom he fought. Wendell Ford fought for farmers. Wendell Ford fought for people who had transportation needs. Heck, Wendell Ford fought for people who just wanted to make it easier to vote. So in that spirit, I hope you'll go to our website at jackconway.org and check out the very specific proposals that we put forward for what we would do to try to get ourselves moving again. We're proposing a hometown tax credit that says if you want to create a new job, you ought to be able to take a 20% tax credit to create that new job. And we cap that program at $30 billion, and we pay for it by shutting down offshore tax havens. We need a top-to-bottom review of our trade deals because it's wrong that the Commonwealth of Kentucky has lost 100,000 manufacturing jobs in the last decade. We need a small business lending program in this country because we bailed out Wall Street, and now, lo and behold, the regulators are coming down hard on our small and community banks who make the loans to small and medium-sized businesses who are the engines of job growth in this state. And we need robust financial reform. My friends... Last year, in 2009, Goldman Sachs paid out $13 billion, that's $13 billion with a B, in bonuses, while they paid 1%, 1% in U.S. corporate income tax. You need a United States Senator who will go to Washington and say, that's wrong, I'm going to stand up for the people of Kentucky and not for the special interests. Now, you may say to me, Jack, what makes you think you can get something done if you're one of 100 votes? Well, I say, please take a look at our record. In 2007, you honored me by electing me as Attorney General, and I've treated that public office as a public trust. Take a look at what we've done. We've created a cyber crimes unit that's taken 68,000 child porn images off of the Internet. We've created a prescription pill task force in which Owensboro participates that's doing great things. Medicaid fraud collections are up over 600% since I became Attorney General. Elder abuse prosecutions are up over 300% since I became Attorney General. That's a record of treating a public office as a public trust, and it's one of which I am proud. And to you, the people of Owensboro, I say, 
please join us. Go to jackconway.org. We have the momentum in this race. We have 10,000 volunteers. We're leading in the polls. And you know what? I'm sick of these campaigns that pit us urban versus rural, east versus west, north versus south. To the people of Owensboro, I say I'm Jack Conway, and I'm running for the United States Senate, and I hope you'll run with me. Thank you, and God bless.